Welcome back to another teardown everyone. Today we have here the UE Boom 3 that I bought for $100 during the holiday sale. This IP67 rated Bluetooth speaker has a cylinder shape with an appealing to tone fabric finish with a huge plus and minus volume control in the front. On the opposite side there's a hanger and a rubber strip that goes vertically across the speaker. Both the top and bottom are made of hard rubber with the top featuring the main control buttons and the bottom containing the wireless charging. Before taking apart the Boom 3, one important thing I want to point out is that the speaker is mostly sealed together by double sided tape so taking the speaker apart will damage and compromise the IP rating that the speaker has. With that being said, let's tear down the UE Boom 3. First off into the tear down, we will pry it around the bottom cap of the speaker until we are able to lift the cap up. They are held tightly onto the body of this enclosure by tabs, so take your time to pry them up. Once you're able to lift up the cap, you can pull it off and it should disconnect itself from the motherboard. Now we will remove the two screws to take off this plastic frame so we can remove the charging board. This board contains a micro USB charging port, which I dislike as I prefer all my devices to have the modern USB C port. The board also has the contacts for the wireless charging pin which allows you to charge the speaker wirelessly with the optional charging dock. Next we will take off the fabric cover by prying from the top cap of the speaker to loosen the cover. Once loosened, the cover can be pulled off as a whole. I really like the attention to detail of the quality and the look of the two-tone cloth fabric cover. It makes the speaker look clean, attractive, and high-end. Now we can remove the top of the speaker by prying and releasing this tab around the cap. With the cap removed, we can take off four screws to take off the control board. This control board contains three buttons and six LED lights. We have the pairing and the power button on each side with the magic button in the middle. This magic button can be used to play, pause, and skip track as well as it can be used to directly access your playlist from a selected few music providers. Next we will remove the driver and passive radiators by taking off these metal rods. They can be gently pried off like you see me doing here, although I believe the proper way to remove them is to slide them out. Once the rod are removed, you can pry it off and disconnect the driver and do the same for the passive radiators. These are double sided tape onto the enclosure, so like I mentioned before, removing these may damage the seal and compromise the IP rating and the quality of the speaker. We will do the same for the other remaining driver and passive radiator. And here we have the driver, they are 2 inch, 6 watts driver, providing the speaker with a total of 12 watts of RMS power. They can reach a volume of up to 90 decibel with a frequency ranging from 90 hertz to 20 kilohertz and can get fairly loud. In my opinion, they sound nice and clear but are quite small and does not provide the amount of bass I would expect from a $100 Bluetooth speaker.
And here we have the two passive radiators which measure 40 by 80 millimeters. They are nice looking passive radiators that works great in producing the low frequency sounds. With both the driver and the passive radiator out of the way, we will now remove the battery pack by sliding it out and disconnecting it from the motherboard. This is a 3200 mAh battery pack that claims to have a total play time of up to 15 hours and a charge time of less than 3 hours on wireless charging and 6 hours on micro USB charging. I've been using speaker and I've gotten around 7 to 8 hours of play time on a full charge and a charge time of less than 5 hours on USB charging. Now before we remove the motherboard, it is important that we remove the volume control board first to prevent any damage. To do this, we will remove the clear silicone cover to access the board. We then can carefully peel off the board and disconnect it from the motherboard. This volume control board basically contains two buttons for the volume up and down. And on the opposite side are the pins that connects to the motherboard, which can easily be damaged if you don't remove this board first. Now that the volume control board is removed, we can slide out the motherboard without bending or damaging the pins of the volume control board. And here we have the motherboard. This board allows you to connect to over 150 speakers and up to two devices at the same time. It has Bluetooth 4.2 with a range of up to 45 meter and allow for a customizable equalizer with four different preset and a customized tuner. One thing to be aware of is that this doesn't have a microphone nor a support voice assistant. And here we have the fabric hanger that is clamped by the middle clip and can be removed by sliding off of the enclosure. Last but not least, we have here the body of the speaker. It is made of hard, durable plastic and is designed to accommodate the driver and passive radiator for the 360 sounds. And this completes the teardown of the UE Boom 3 Bluetooth speaker. Like always, you can show your support by liking the video and subscribing to my channel if you're new. Suggestions for future teardowns are always welcome, so feel free to drop them down in the comment below. And I hope to see you again on the next teardown.